Today, we're gonna to be tying up one of my all-time favorite dry flies that works particularly well for cutthroat and brook trout. To tie it, we'll start off with some black thread, secure it to our hook shank, and grab some golden pheasant crest. We'll select a single feather, measure it to be about the size of our hook shank, and secure it to the back of the fly. Continue securing it up the hook shank, stopping just short of the hook eye. Snip your excess free, and cover up the tag ends. Next, we'll grab some peacock curl, selecting one or two fibers, securing it to our hook shank and wrapping back towards the tail. Advance your thread slightly and begin wrapping your peacock curl forward until we reach our thread, doing so in closed touching spirals. We will also be doing a giveaway for this fly, so if you'd like to win it, all you have to do is comment hashtag flies and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't win and want to give it a shot, you can pick some up on my website listed below. Once we reach our thread, we'll secure and continue wrapping forward while leaving a small gap. We'll then advance the thread past the peacock curl and continue to palmer the peacock curl just as before, this time making it slightly shorter. Once complete, secure with your thread and snip the excess free. We'll also snip our thread free and switch over to a red thread. Here I'm using a flat 140 ultra thread. Secure it to your hook shank, snip the excess free and use your thread to build up a prominent base. This will be the hot spot of the fly. Once happy, we'll whip finish to secure it in place and snip the excess free. Once again, switching over to our black thread. Next, we'll grab some brown saddle hackle, select a single fiber and secure it to the head of the fly. Set it aside, and if you'd like to tie the original, grab a white calf tail. However, I prefer to use this white poly yarn. We'll place the poly yarn on top of the fly and secure it tightly in place. In order to create separation by crossing over your thread in between them in a zigzag pattern and also wrapping both behind as well as in front of our poly yarn to give it some security. In the end, it should be propped up like so. Once happy, we'll grab our saddle hackle and begin to hackle it forward in closed touching spirals, wrapping it in between our poly yarn when we get there and continue doing so until you reach your thread. At which point we'll secure by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. We'll then whip finish to secure everything in place and build up a prominent head. Snip your thread free and finally trimming your poly yarn to be slightly longer than your hackle. And this is the Royal Wolf. It was my favorite childhood fly that works exceptionally well as an attractor pattern for brook trout as well as cutthroat. And I'd highly encourage you to give it a shot. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.